If you are familiar with the Trask uh, Checkmate uh, solution, which is basically the modified cover for uh, venting the crankcase uh, pressure from your engine, this uh, video will show you how you can achieve uh, exactly the same uh, uh, results with a minimal amount of money. So let me show you what I got and here we go. You can see all the stuff that you will need for this project. You will have the hose. This one is uh, 7, 30 seconds, 6 feet long. I have this uh, one-way valve. Then there is this uh, junction. I will put the description for this one. This one is stainless steel. You have the ratchet with the Allen wrench 316, regular 316. So it's a little bit hard to remove this cover. So that's the reason I'm gonna use two different ones. You have the drill bits, you have the drill, and I also have assortments of uh, clamps. So in order to vent the cover from the transmission, you will have to disconnect these cables and it will give you the access to the screw. And yeah, there is also this cable from the sensor that I put kind of behind just for the clean look. So I will move that away. I will use this really tiny ratchet. This one is like a four inches ratchet and this is a 316 and it will allow pretty easy access. It looks like most of the time people are struggling with this part. So here is the tip for you. This is what I use for some of the screws that were really hard to get. I will put this bead on the screw. I will hold the top and then I will use this quarter inch wrench and I will just go around it. Yeah, it took a moment, but it was super easy. I know that a lot of people struggle with access, especially to this hole in here, like kind of in the middle behind the cylinder. So this will allow you to get this job done really easy. If you have soft tail model, you will have the oil line in here. So you will have to disconnect the oil line. Now that we remove the six screws, we should be able to remove this cover. I would highly recommend you will put the reg in here. So in case you drop the bead or anything, you will catch it in here because yeah, you don't want to have it somewhere there and hard to find it. So yeah, let's just see what we got in here. And it should be easier from this side. And here we go. I'm going to cover my transmission with paper just to make sure that nothing gets in there while I'm working. So I'm gonna put the rag on top of this just so everything is nicely protected. I'm going to remove this gasket while I'm working on this and later on I will reuse it. I will highly recommend that you will buy a brand new one but I think using it one time hopefully will be fine. Worst case scenario I will have to come back in here and replace the gasket but so far I was really lucky with reusing the gasket at least once and probably no more than that. So just be gentle, pry it off and here we go. So here is our cover and I marked the spot where I would like to drill the hole and uh, I will be using this washer as my guide. So yes, basically that's the center of this washer and I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole. I will just uh, enlarge this hole just enough so I can uh, put this spigot in. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet, please like and subscribe. I have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. I currently have over 300 uploads on my uh, YouTube channel. So I really hope that you will find something interesting. And uh, there is uh, some playlists. And if you hit the bell icon, you will always get notification when I release new video. And if you are new to the channel, please uh, leave the comment below so I can personally thank you for uh, joining the uh, motorcycle community on the, our Riders United. I will try to thread this one into the cover. This one is uh, not uh, metal, this is plastic one. So I will try to screw this as much as I can, but it's not necessary. It can go through as well. And then I'm gonna just use the gasket to make sure that I will seal everything correctly. So I drilled my hole and actually I was able to 
drill a little bit uh, smaller one and thread this thing in. So initially, my idea was that I will put this whole assembly as design, which will mean the washer, and then I added the rubber gasket to this setup, another washer, and the nut on the opposite side. The one thing that uh, kind of worries me a little bit is this nut being on the inside, because if this will ever come loose and drop inside, yeah, that will be a serious trouble. So what I think I'm gonna do, just because this thread is like holding pretty, pretty tight, I'm gonna just probably use the washer and then I'm gonna put this uh, rubber gasket in here and just thread this in and this way I will have no risk of anything going inside in my bike. So I think that that would be my preference. And it looks like so far this thread is like pretty strong. So worst case scenario, I can always add this in, but I thought that uh, I'm gonna just uh, try it like that. And if I have any trouble later on, I can always add the nut, but I think that I should be fine. Yeah, as you can see, it created really nice and tight fit. So yeah, this is definitely going nowhere and I'm not adding any additional elements that might have any chance to fall in on the internal part. So that looks really nice and clean. And we have this uh, rubber gasket in here, so I'm not really worried about any leaks. So here I will take a minute and I would like to let you know that it's probably a better idea to use the red Loctite and just maybe some gasket maker and seal everything properly. Initially I just used the gasket and I screwed the spigot inside of the cover, but after about the 250 miles I discovered that there was a just tiny drop of oil. So it looks like this is non-sufficient. So you can just uh, put this uh, spigot the way it was designed, basically with the nut on the bottom side and just tie everything really nicely and uh, use some gasket maker to seal everything properly. This is actually what I did later on and there was no further leaks. So I would say it's worth to mention that just so you can uh, avoid uh, playing with this one more time later on. So what we're gonna do next is uh, to attach our hose and this is this uh, one-way valve. So what you will notice, if I'm blowing the air on this side, this valve have to make sure that all this uh, air is coming out. Yeah, as you can see, it's working properly. So this is how it have to be mounted. And I have this uh, little clamp. So I will put it at the end of the hose to make sure that uh, everything is nice and tight. I just need a little bit uh, smaller one. So let me just find the one that will be appropriate. Probably this one is a little bit better. And you will squeeze this one in. Put the holes in here. And let it go. And this way you have really nice and tight connection. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna install this whole setup and I will play with the location of this valve. And uh, most of the time what you will see that at some point this valve will be slightly closer. There will be the rest of the hose and at the end of it, there will be the filter. I will probably try without the filter initially, but yeah, it's really up to you. It looks like uh, the Trask solution is with the filter at the end. My idea is to actually have really long holes and this valve at the end of it. So I really hope that all this oil potentially that will be going up this uh, hose will basically drain back and only the air will come out of this. So this is the reason why I have a little bit different approach. I will uh, try that and I will see if that works, but if you wish, you can just add this uh, valve a little bit sooner and then continue with the, with the hose and put the filter, like this tiny little filter at the end. And right now I will put the gasket back on just to make sure that you use uh, the brand new one 
so you don't have any leaks because yeah it's a pain to get this cover off we're gonna remove all this stuff protecting our transmission and uh, we'll put our cover back on I will just wipe this down just be really careful not to drop anything inside and I will just put the screws with my hand and then after that we'll just uh, tie them up so I will have to feed this hose on the opposite side because yeah this one is quite long and gently position this thing in the proper place so now that we have this cover back in I will hand tighten this uh, screws in here and then we'll go and use the 316 allen wrench to just tighten it up and then we'll figure it out how to route uh, this hose here is how I routed my hose it comes out in here goes into this opening behind the spark plug wires and then goes in here behind the cables in here and then on the bottom of the frame goes in here under this bracket in here and then go around and it end up in there so this is just for now I would like to kind of monitor everything and see how it's gonna work but yeah I think uh, this hose is really long enough that should provide some extra place for the air to escape and I will keep monitoring if I have any oil coming out hopefully it will be just the air but yeah we'll see so let's open up our air cleaner and we'll see if we have any blow-by after the installation of the vent in the transmission cover that is uh, releasing this uh, pressure from the crankcase yeah there is still a little bit of the blow-by but i will have to say definitely less than it was before but yeah as you can see there is still a little bit well as you can see venting the crankcase only is not sufficient to completely eliminate the blow-by from this m8 engines and i have to say i checked my hose so it was venting properly you can put a lot of pressure there and it will it will go out but at the same time it looks like there is still some blow-by from heads so the next step in here will be to vent this uh, hoses from uh, heads coming into the throttle body and vent those uh, externally so i will definitely keep you guys posted on this i'm gonna keep monitoring this and if you have any other ideas or comments please let me know but yeah i have to say sometimes the things are going as expected and in this case it looks like this uh, venting of the crankcase by itself was not enough so i will definitely keep you posted so i really hope that you enjoyed this quick episode and it helped you to save some money i'm really curious about your opinion and uh, how you actually uh, deal with this issue so if something please uh, leave the comment below and i will be more than happy to learn something from my audience and uh, Please uh, hit the like and subscribe button. This is uh, super important for the growth of the channel. And uh, I really hope that you will hit the bell notification so you will get the notification each time I release new video. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much, guys. And I really appreciate your time as always. And ride safe. Bye-bye.